Howdy, I'm Mitch with Wild Gear in Hornville, Wisconsin. And I don't know about you, but I'm spit and tired of pumping this little lever every time I want to bend a piece of pipe. So I done. A, I just went to a local hardware store, Harbor Freight, Menards, uh, Fleet Farm, whatever you got in your area, and I picked myself up one of these bad girls. Air over hydraulic right here. Boy, let's make a hacker two-pack of Billy Goat. We ain't gonna need this piece of junk anymore. I did. I took and I welded these little tabs all the way around it. So I don't need to bolt anything in or anything at all. I can use this hydraulic for my press. Uh, just about anything else I have in the shop here that uses hydraulic. Air over. Hit the button. Ready to rock and roll. So we're going to grab this kitty here. Just going to pop it in our new hole right there. Grab ourselves an air hose. Ready to bend some pipe. I like that a lot better. Now, I don't know what kind of hydraulic you guys are going to find. Uh, mine did not have this little nipple on it. So I went, I just took a little piece of pipe, walled a piece of plate on the top of it. Now, I don't know what kind of projects you got going on over by you, uh, but I had a local mason come up to me and he wants a telescoping collapsible tent uh, that he can put on his scaffolding. So these cheap pipe benders are known to put kinks in pipe. Uh, one way to get away from that is marking the center of your dies. Then also in one inch increments, mark the piece of pipe in your bend that you're going to be making. Uh, so what this is going to do, you're going to start at one end and you're just going to do, let's say, 15 pumps roughly per mark on your piece of pipe. And that should take care of that kink. So we're going to line up our first stash with the center of our die here. My application does not have to be as exact as yours might be. If you're building roll cages and stuff like that, you'll be able to get a lot cleaner bend than having all these little tiny kinks in it. Mine is not really structural. It's only holding a, up a tarp, um, so it doesn't matter that much. Um, but that's the best way to get a decent bend on some thin pipe. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm looking forward to turn my old bottle jack into a lampshade post. Thanks everyone for watching. If you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and you'll see me soon.